So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Friday Night Mail. Woo! And today we have a sponsor. Why I'm out of breath. Today's sponsor is a company you might recognize from a few FMs ago, but Juke Buds have completely overhauled their entire store. Everything has been upgraded from the quality of their earbuds, their stock, and even down to the nitty gritty details like their packaging. So let's go ahead and look through this care package that they sent me of their prime products while I tell you what they can offer you guys as my viewers. Let's go. So the first thing to mention is the pop-up connect feature. All you have to do is lift the lid, wait for the pop-up to appear on any iOS device. You'll be able to see it in the Bluetooth connections. It will be called Juke Buds. Super fucking easy to pair to any of your devices. Another thing that's really cool about this company is they offer you ear tips that match whatever headphones you happen to buy, but unlike other companies, you don't have to pay extra for it. Some companies are even charging upwards of five to $10 for these things, but you get this from Juke Buds with your purchase for free. The sound quality and battery life are very similar similar to that of AirPods, except you only have to pay like one fourth the price, especially if you use my promo code, we'll get there in a second. And it's not only in your headphones that they're selling, they're also selling AirPod cases, many of which are so fucking cute, I can't even describe it, and you'll be seeing it in the footage here that I'm overlaying. This company is badass, and of course supporting my sponsors supports the channel. So if you want to get 20% off any order indefinitely, you don't have to ask me, hey Tara, is the promo code gone? It will always work. Code Tara at jukebuds.com, you're going to get 20% off your entire order. That is the code Tara, T-A-R-A at jukebuds.com if you want 20% off your order at any time on any purchase. I want to thank Jukebuds so much for sponsoring this video and for sending me some awesome product. I love you guys so much. You're amazing. I cannot gush enough about this company. They're awesome guys. Customer service is great. Quality is great. So check them out. Link will be in the top of the description. Okay, we are back to the originally scheduled programming. Today, I would like to announce the winner of the $50 quarantine Amazon card giveaway, and that is KJ2. Congratulations, KJ2. I got a little carried away with that one. If you guys want to enter to win a $50 Amazon gift card for my quarantine stimulus package, or if you want a $25 Amazon gift card and a $25 Twitch subscription to my Twitch channel, you can choose which one you want as you sign up. Link will be in the description. It'll be right next to FNM giveaway. But we have our, whoa, we have our first question today. As with last time, we're going to be taking questions throughout instead of holding off the questions until the very end. And Bulan Unguru says, why no song requests on stream? I used to allow mods, longtime viewers, and subscribers to song request, but since the API of Spotify changed, I can no longer do that, and I refuse to use YouTube music or YouTube videos as my main source of listening to music because I have like over a thousand songs on my Spotify playlist, all of which I really like. And since I can't use the API with any of the Streamlabs apps or anything like that anymore, I just can't do it anymore. The reason that it was always so exclusive and rare in the first place was because I really don't like listening to people's shit music when I'm trying to play video games. For me, music isn't something that's for you guys, it's for me. And I get a lot of compliments on being one of the only streams that actually plays good music, so I appreciate that and I like that title that's been bestowed upon me. And we're gonna keep that up. Let's open some packages. Oh, remember these? You guys liked these leggings before. I feel like they're extra jiggly and that's why. I am just gonna go ahead and grab all of the small things here and we will get started on these. So this is a package from Kasky. It says, we've got a letter. Ooh, this is from Kasky Amsoil. Tara J. Eve, this letter is to introduce Kasky Amsoil. This company is a division of SSR or Solar Synthetics Robotics. As I have texted you, if that is not a stolen text system, what? Be it known that my intentions are to introduce you to Amsoil products if you are not familiar with them. Of course, due to the fact that you now have a Jeep product. That means welcome to the Chrysler toy division, so to speak. The reason for Amsoil is that if you are going to be off-roading, then it is pertinent that you take care of your machine. So it will take care of you. <laughs> this is a little weird ad, but it's interesting. There are no guarantees here, especially because of the nature of your ride. However, we can help you avoid breakdown by using tougher oil and the reduction of heat. Amsoil has a product that for sure you should look into. It's called 
called Severe Gear. It is designed for very harsh use. Amsoil has a rock crawler that uses this product. One of the things that conventional oil companies don't tell you is that if you go off-roading, then you need to change your oil more often. In the interest of time, I'm going to put his information down in the description. He has a number, a reference number, 109097 if you want to buy anything on Amsoil. I think he gets like a commission or something. And he sent me a booklet of oil products for your car. It's odd indeed. We've definitely never texted. Nobody can text me. Well, I mean, you technically can. I mean, if I gave you my number, but no, I don't have like one of those texting services. And yeah, maybe I'll check out this oil and see if it holds up to your claims. Thanks for sending me the information. I appreciate it. Here's a little bit of free promo down in the description. Okay, we've got two letters. This one says, thank you. I first saw your videos two years ago and it made a refreshing change on my boring work commutes. That's awesome. You and I share many opinions and outlooks and I like having somebody like me to look at often. That sounds narcissistic, but I'm assuming you mean someone to listen to. I also like that, but I also like differing opinions. Don't talk shit on differing opinions. Thanks for being you and I eagerly see your content as I see you like a kindred spirit. Here's to years more of content, Miss Kindred Spirit in this big world of ours. P.S. I signed up to your Patreon and love interacting with you there. Thank you. If interaction is the way you want to go, it's definitely better on OnlyFans because I actually check the DMs there, whereas I hate the DM system on Patreon, so it's kind of like keeping the content separate. Personal interaction is OnlyFans. HD, nude, and all the other goodies are over on Patreon. There's a bunch of different distinctions. You can just read the pages, but I really do appreciate your support, and I love meeting kindred spirits because previous to having a channel like this, I kind of felt like I was a unicorn or something. Not necessarily in a really, like, I'm better than everyone else way, but like in a, I'm definitely different from everyone else way, but now I know that there are other people like me out there. So cheers to you. You didn't leave a name, but I appreciate it. The other one. Well, it's like the same note. Is this from the same guy? It's exactly the same thing. You guys can't see it. It's fucking blown out. It's a white piece of paper, but it says the exact same thing. Well, thank you for sending it to me twice. I appreciate it. This next one is from Miles. He wants me to sign some stuff. Oh, is he giving me the Thassa? No, he's giving me the card sleeves. He wants me to sign Temple of Enlightenment and Thassa Deep Dwelling, which I will do and then send back to him. And he says, hey Tara, how goes it? I can't thank you enough for doing this for me. It really means a lot. Sorry for the poor handwriting. I'm happy as fuck you're doing this for me. No problem, Miles. So I'll just be sending that back to him and he said I can keep the card sleeves. And then we have this package from Don Clements, which is very cute. I feel bad ripping this because it's such a cute little butterfly packaging. I like it a lot. Let's see what's up here. Oh, is this? Oh my god, it is. Hope you like this. It was the closest to the one I wanted to send you. From Barney. Okay, so Barney sent me this shirt recently. It was a picture of a girl wearing a Jeep shirt that said booby bouncer, and I was thinking that is so amazing because I've always wanted to do like a fan service Friday where I go on like some really harsh off-road. Don't air down a whole bunch and just let my boobs bounce around. No bra. Haven't done it yet, but Jeeps are definitely booby bouncers. More so when I'm not driving. It's happened once. I had Jay drive back on one of the trails that I did during my birthday. And I was like, boom, boom, when my boobs were bouncing all over. And I'm like, why wasn't this happening when I was driving? It's crazy how much compensation our bodies can do in situations like that when we are the ones in control. It's crazy. Let's not talk about that kind of theory. Let's just put this thing on right now and move on with the video. Thank you so much, Barney. You are such a badass. One more before we do another Q&A portion, another question. Okay, this is from Danu Guy. Hey babe, been a while since I sent you something. Hope you like it. I got you the whole set. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so this is a chainmail halter top, much skimpier than the chainmail top I already have. So that's cool. Ooh la la, should I wear this for the rest of the video? Should I do it? I feel like I should do it. I feel like you guys would appreciate me doing this and then I can wear it with nothing under underneath on my Patreon at some point. Danui, I love you so much. You are so sweet and you don't have to always send me things or feel obligated to send me things if you haven't sent me something in a while. But I do love hearing from you like that and then around the back, shall we? There you have it. Chain mail and a bra. The bra is very important today, I see. <laughs> Let's answer a question, why not? Thank you, Danu Guy. I'm just gonna take the liberty of thanking Danu Guy on your behalf because I'm sure you're enjoying this view right now. Next question comes from Leaveth Aaron. He says, sexy magic booster box ASMR. What do I have to do? Okay, since I don't play magic anymore right now, I don't have any need for booster boxes. I do really, really enjoy unboxing them though. So what you would have to do is send me a booster box and I will 100% 
make that video. 100%, I'm giving you my word, that video will be made if you send me a booster box. Everyone in the comments who's actually into magic is probably gonna be like, oh my god, she's such a noob though, or she's not actually into magic because I haven't played in so long and I don't follow the sets now. So I'm gonna be like, this one seems like a good card. But I have no idea what I'm talking about in the current meta. Either way, it would be fun and I would totally do it. I have my whole magic cabinet I can do it in front of. I already have an idea in my head, so make it happen or don't. I'm happy either way. But either way, thank you so much for the question. More packages! I'm gonna do all the small boxes now, except for the box I got from my parents. Where should we start? Manila envelope, let's do it. Lovely LMT, I do hope this Goomba will have both its eyebrows. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Can you see it? You probably can't see it. Rubber Tongue did it as the possessive with an apostrophe. When you put an apostrophe, it's a contraction, unless it's a name apostrophe S. So hers, his, obviously, and its don't have the apostrophe because it's not a contraction, it's not it is. Just so you know, there was actually a teacher in high school, allegedly, of Jay's who didn't know this rule, so I guess I can't fault you too much for it, but you are my slave, and as my slave, there should be an upholding of the grammatical law of the land here in Paradise. By the way, guys, I actually watched a video about signs of a narcissist recently, and one of them was correcting people's grammar, and I'm like, oh, guilty. What can I say? This is a Goomba light. Oh, it's so cute and small. It comes in a series of different ones, as you can see right here. There are four different ones that you can get, but this Goomba indeed does have both of his eyebrows. Very cute. Good boy, Rubber Tongue. Rubber Tongue is sucking up to me right now because he wants me to allow him to buy a PS5 when it comes out. But we shall see. I am still undecided. We'll see what these other gifts are. Next package is... Oh, this is a package from Owl Barn. I bought some shit off an Instagram website. I think this is from Owl Barn. Or maybe it's from Rubber Tongue. There you have it, a cute little owl. You guys know I love owls. I'm pretty sure I bought this myself. I'm pretty sure. But it's been so long that it's like, who knows? Here's the next package. I don't know what's in it. I was gonna tell you what's in it, but how could I know before I open it? How could I possibly? Ooh, it's a mug. Booby Bouncer. We know this is from Barney. Has to be, right? Barney, tell me if you bought this as well, because come Come on, there's no way that someone else bought this for me when we are on the booby bouncing topic, right? There, it just can't be, it can't be. This is awesome though, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much Barney or whoever sent it to me. I actually do need more mugs. By the way, pale again, not loving it, but dealing with it. Oh my God, dance robot? A dance robot. His name is Robert. Dear LMT, may this dancing Bluetooth speaker robot give you much fun. We're gonna have to set this up. Dear LMT, here's a little brother for Robert the robot. Oh my god. Oh, are they both speakers? This is so cute. And it's red. Good color choice. Good color choice. We're gonna go ahead and set this. Eve's getting into the packaging. Cut to us setting these up and scaring Eve with them. Right now. Hopefully not copyrighted music. Hello, I have floppers. How about giving you your own finished flag? See if it's good for toilet paper, maybe. Oh my god. We have a finished flag. We can burn this flag, right, in the United States of America? We're not gonna burn anybody's flag, okay, but this is a good troll gift. Troll level 1000. And then there's one more thing. But I would also say that trolling doesn't get you much closer to getting a PS5, so maybe you should have gotten something more substantive instead of buying me a finished flag. Hi, LMT, I know you love Wally. -E. Do you not have this Funko version yet? Ooh! Wally Funko Pop! No way! Okay, this is a good one. I do not have a Wally Funko Pop yet. Oh, he's so cute! I love Wally. Wally is probably my favorite movie. I don't hold movies to much esteem. As I have told you guys in the last two episodes of FM, we've talked about this. And I have another follow up question here, which this is a good segue into this. I just want to show you the majesty that is this Wally Funko Pop. So cute. Post in the comments if you also like the movie Wally, because I really love it. But now, segue into our next question. Ooh. 
Following up on the last two FMs, No Name says, Question. Since you were talking about not really liking movies, would you ever consider writing a screenplay or dipping your toe into the film industry so that you could create a movie that is up to your standards? And a lot of people liked it. So I don't know if some people liking this were kind of like ironically liking it, hating on me for hating movies right now when I probably can't do any better myself. And to that, I would say we can all be critics and have opinions. We don't necessarily have to do it ourselves. If I was in the position of making a movie, which I never will be because my life is short and my ambitions are plentiful and my time is so limited. Limited. But if I ever did find myself in that situation and I didn't think I could make something that was better than everyone else was making that I would actually be proud of, I would at least hire some people who have a similar vision to me. Look at Eve right now. This is Eve right now. What are you doing? I'll give her the freedom to kill herself in a bag if she wishes. Oh my God, so cute. You're gonna die in there. Anyway, we have three packages left, one of which is from my parents and it's gonna have some birthday stuff in there for Jay. Hi, mom and dad. Do you like this fucking chain mail top? I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, our first box is this. This one here. Oh, King of New York. It's a Richard Garfield game. And this is from, it doesn't say who it's from, but I've had this on my wish list. It's one of the first things I put on there. When I used to go to Mox, AKA the new card kingdom in Seattle, they had a lot of these kinds of games. So I was able to like play and have fun with these kinds of games. Now I don't have that many friends to play with, but I will hopefully be hanging out with Paige or some of my other friends. And that is where this will come in at some point. I will be more social after Corona, maybe a little bit. Who knows? All I know is that this is probably from Rubber Tongue and I actually enjoyed a version of this game when I played it. Post in the comments if you like this game. I think it's pretty fun with friends. Now, second to last package. What is this? It's like a T-Rex, but it's like shrink, it's a shrink wrapped T-Rex. Oh my God, do you hear that? As the air rushes into the T-Rex. It's a gift bag and then a card. Oh, I almost stabbed him in the neck. We went extinct for some reason. Even though we're so gigantic and scary, probably because the food source went away or some kind of comet or something, who knows? But now I have a wonderful T-Rex here for my house. Rubber Tongue, of course, sent this to me, I'm going to assume. Good boy, Rubber Tongue. I don't know how I feel about just more plushies. It's not Monster Hunter actual products, so I don't know if this is gonna help you, but let's see what my parents sent me. And already, as soon as I open it, you can see the fucking random Pokemon shit from the house. We've got a Pikachu, Vaporeon Bouncy Ball, Omanyte, Omanyte, right? Poliwhirl, this isn't open? It's like a, oh, wait, what does this do? It's like supposed to spin a Pokemon or something. I don't get it. Oh, I remember this. Okay, check it out, check it out, check it out, guys. The hours of fun you can have with this. Uh, maybe you will like this. Horsey? Metapod, no. The, the, I forget, what is his name? Metapod's the green one. This is Ka Kakuna. Kakuna? Kakuna? Fuck, dude, I'm like forgetting all of my Pokemon, man. All the good ones, all the first fucking gen ones. And then presents for Jay. Letter for Jay. Oh, look at this. These came from like Burger King. They were like collectible gold-plated Pokemon cards. This Poliwhirl. That is so fucking cool. I loved these. I didn't collect all of them, but I ate a Burger King a lot to try to get these. Oh my God. It's a Super Mario face mask made in Seattle. Oh my God, no way. This is so cute. Aw, this is so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it needs to be adjusted for my tiny head, but that is so cute. Thank you, mom and dad. I appreciate that. And then we also have Mewtwo and Togepi. I didn't know they actually had Mewtwo and Togepi. That's pretty cool. And then the very last thing here is this Meowth Real really aged dog tag here. And one more present for Jay. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, for being there for me, for sending me things, for being a part of the community in the comment section. And for anything else that you do for me, just admiring from a distance, never posting any comments in the comment section. I love you guys. This just came apart. I don't know how to make this work. Okay, so maybe attach with this one. I just wanted to say that I hope you guys are doing well and that everything is going okay for you. I know that things are crazy in the world right now. I don't know how crazy they're gonna be in like a week and a half when this actually posts. But my content, my positivity, my sexy pictures, free content and also premium content, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be there for you. So I just wanna say, no matter who you are, I love you, I'm here for you. And to me, you matter. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Chain mail titties, chain mail titties. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and before we go, don't forget to check out our sponsors, jukebuds.com with the code Tara to get 20% off. They're awesome, trust me, you're gonna like their products. Okay, now buy for real.
I found a caterpie. You see it? It's a little caterpie. So cute. Okay, bye.